Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. I'm out wandering around southern Oklahoma today. I'm actually, I'm currently set up at Johnson Branch, a Corps of Engineer campground on Lake Texoma, way out there. But I'm done here. The wind has changed directions. It's coming out of the north and I'm right next to a highway. And so I'm, I'm bugging out. So I'm gonna jump in the RV and I'm gonna head about six miles south and I'm gonna set up camp at, a, at where am I going? Oh, I'm gonna set up camp at Lakeside and I am gonna be on the water. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. So let's get Miss V loaded up and hit the road. Come on, let's go. Well, here we are, Lakeside at Lakeside. Lakeside Park on Lake Texoma, and brother, are we Lakeside. Literally, we can just walk right down here to the water. Of course, we're facing the boat ramp and fishing docks. Boy, we got a cold north wind blowing. Hopefully it's going to die down. Anyway, let's get into a quick site review. Site number 23. Where's the number? There's a number there. I'm not sorry, not 23, 16. I was in 23 yesterday. Site number 16. It's pretty flat. I don't have any wheels off the ground. Uh, actually, very level, side to side. Concrete table, whatever those are supposed to do, and a, and a fire thing. A fire doohickey. And best of all, we got a great big old tree and the north wind is to my back. It is 30 with water. I bet this is a busy place during warmer months. All right finish getting things squared away here and we'll go do a little exploration stay tuned more to come journeyed far and wide actually I just drove around uh, a lot of this park is is closed off a lot of lakeside is is closed off for the season and the water is actually turned off for the season but what I thought was a fishing dock it was actually a fish cleaning station and what that tells me is there's probably going to be a whole lot of catfish 
in in this little channel And that's a good thing, because I got some catfish bait, so I don't have to go far. I can just throw the line right out there. Whoo! It's cold! Toad, toad, toad! All right. I'm gonna put on some long underwear. <laughs> that cold wind, that wind is cold, baby. All right, stay tuned. More to come. Oh, man. Glare is bright. It's not exactly sunshine, but it's like the wind is just, the wind just, did it stop? At least it did here. I wonder if that was on purpose. You would think that uh, a boat of that size would, somebody would be wondering where it was. I snuck into the day use, not day use, but I don't really have a day use area here. I thought they did, but they don't. That's, that's another camping area. So we're going to go, I'm going to go show that to you. You can, you can do the FPV tour, the, the virtual tour. Or you can hang with me and we'll go check out some of those campsites. Lakeside Recreation Area. Lake Texoma. And here's why they call it Lakeside. They have a whole lot of sites that are Lakeside. <laughs> go figure. These are water. Well, there's water, common water. I don't know if all the sites have water or not, but a lot of them have power. And then a lot of them are just primitive. Pretty decent mix of all of them. It's not really a swimming area here. Not a designated swimming area. If, if you're into lake swimming, that is. Most of the shoreline looks, looks kind of rough. We're going out here all the way out onto the to the farthest point we can go. So if you didn't have to have shade E13, pretty cool sight. You just sit right out here on your concrete patio, put a hook in the water. All right, I'm running out of stuff to shoot video on. Let's go see if we can find something else. I didn't sneak in, I actually walked through and I rolled a little red under the gate. Don't know what's down here, but Let's go see if anything. So whatever was here, it looks like this is just, <laughs> this is the dumping ground. What is this all about? Really? Tires? What the heck? Lakeside Recreation Area. Lake Texoma. On the Oklahoma side, I, I just, I was compelled. Was this, you know, an intentional? It's been here a while. I mean, you can, the props are completely buried. Leisure time. It, it looks like maybe somebody is uh, 
salvaging. I smell fuel. So it's, it's, looks like it's been here a while because windows are all busted out. the sun finally came out it is really bright too but the wind the wind is still with us hopefully that's gonna die off well I'm pretty sure it'll die off tonight once the Sun goes down and it looks like it's gonna be a, a beautiful clear night which means it's gonna be freaking cold in the morning all right stay tuned more to come well the wind may be finally dying down it's supposed to be pretty tomorrow so i have deployed the boat and y'all haven't seen the the upgrades so if you recall from our last boating boat outing I improved upon the oar holder and I have christened the boat Bobber. Put the oars in a, a little different position, a little farther forward, a little wider. So it should perform better than the last outing. We shall find out tomorrow. Stay tuned, more to come.
Lakeside at Lakeside Park on Lake Texoma. We are coming to, to the end of day two. My last night on this little excursion. I've seen a lot of people fishing and only, only one boat has come in with any kind of fish at all. And apparently they, they did really well. There are a lot of sh striper guides that use this ramp because of the fish cleaning station over there. And I overheard conversation while that guy was cleaning fish. He said someone caught like a 50 pound catfish underneath there because they throw the fish offal into the water. I think in warmer times, it would be better fishing. You know the fish are not biting. So I've got two catfish lines in the water. One of those up this morning at about eight o'clock, I put a worm on there. It's now going on five o'clock and that same worm is still on there. <laughs> of course, it's only 12 feet of water and it's cold. So we are at the end of our visit. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I'm going to finish burning some wood and I'm going to cook a steak, but you know how I cook a steak. Not doing bear spray tonight, but I'm going to close out the video here and put the camera down. Lakeside Park. Yeah, this is a destination. The only detractor that I have found so far is the, the train horn. There's, there's a, a couple of train tracks and you hear uh, train horns periodically 24 hours a day. So even in last night, middle of the night, I, w I heard train horns. That's the only real detractor. Uh, although, you know, there's not a whole lot of stuff like playgrounds and beaches, really nice campsites. Easy water access is from the bank is just, it, it, there's miles, there's probably four miles of bank that you can access. And from what my, my neighbor here was telling me, there's fish. Now this time, in this season, there's no water, but there's power, so, but there's community water, as I mentioned up there. But yeah, this is a destination. You ought to come check it out, Lakeside, Texoma. I'll put this one on the books. Uh, if I want to go someplace and fish, I like it. Easy access with the little, the little boat with bobber. I'm done. I'm rambling now. If this is your first visit, you know what to do. I don't have to keep telling you that. But for those of you who have been following along, I do need to let you know I truly appreciate it. Each and every one of you. Thank you. I'm honored. That's why I keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all come back now, you hear?